हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द फिफ्थ एपिसोड ऑफ नोटिस बोर्ड बाय एच आर कथा आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टुडे सो इट्स अ पैक्ड एपिसोड डोंट गो एनीवेयर बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट एन अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस आई हैड एट अ म्यूजिक कॉन्सर्ट यू नो इट वॉज अ म्यूजिक फेस्टिवल बट दैट कम्स लेटर इन द एपिसोड बट फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट विथ समथिंग दैट अ रीडर एंड एक्चुअली अ लिसनर और व्यूअर वॉट शुड आई से व्यूअर yeah i think that's probably the more uh, you know uh, the more appropriate word we had nina clare who suggested we talk about the issue of uh, mental health in our episodes of notice board so you know she pointed to a very interesting article that came from the correspondent.com um so i'm going to talk a little bit about what that was i'm going to talk to you about a conference that i spoke about which was really around how do i improve the candidate experience uh as a talent acquisition professional so that was an important one i'm going to talk to you about three things that come in the way and of course i'm going to do a book review of the very first book that i read this year and a book which i've just started reading and promises to be really interesting so don't go anywhere let's start with uh, what i'm going to first start with the mental health piece that i'm going to say uh what nina clare suggested was this link to correspondent.com where they talk about the acronym chimes c h i m e s and that stands for connectedness hope identity meaning and empowerment uh, so that's a interesting one to think about think about it one of the most important pieces that cre- keeps us healthy mentally is the ability to actually think about a number of ways in which we can reach out to our network you know the more diverse your network the greater fun it is and i'm going to talk about how musicians and creative people talk about it uh, in the when i come to the very last segment but the first and last segment therefore really complete that full circle so uh, the ability to have friends with whom you can uh, talk about anything especially not the good stuff but stuff that is on your mind how does that make a difference because you know the more you share the easier it becomes for you to feel unburdened and you therefore need friends who do not judge you when you share what is wrong with you um all of us go through that i've gone through a number of times when i have found uh, the company of friends to be really valuable in the times when i was feeling really 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 down and i cannot tell you what a difference that makes even now i have a few of the people who i term as my 2 am friends and these are people i can pick up the phone at 2 am in the morning and call them and say hey listen i want to talk to you about something can you just wake up and listen to me for a little bit so it's important to have some of those friends and of course now on to the next segment of our story i want to tell you about uh, this conference where i spoke uh, about candidate experience you know when you apply for a role uh, you are actually eager to get it out as quickly as possible you've made up your mind you find that job interesting you really want to do it quickly but you know the same urgency is very often not shown by the person who's hiring you of course for very good reasons three major problems that the employers have to solve for one is that when you get thousands thousands of applications uh, to be able to sort that out and manage it a lot of companies actually use artificial intelligence different kinds of solutions to find a job match between what the candidates are trying to talk to you about and versus what is it that uh, you know the job re- really needs how do you find the best candidate pool and keep it manageable so that you are not having to interview too many people because that's the second problem uh, that needs to be uh, sorted out how do you assess the skills of the people in the shortest possible time uh, if you call them in physically into your campus then you have a problem because people may take a lot of time so you need to have it proctored there again technology makes a difference and the third of course which is where i drew this cartoon where i said that one of the panel members is not available on mondays wednesdays and fridays the second panel member is not available on tuesdays thursdays thursdays and saturdays and of course the candidate is not available on sunday so when do you really schedule and of course this is an exaggeration but think about it until and unless you figure out a way to do this efficiently uh you would lose time it is therefore not surprising that while the candidate is out in the market for 10 days you know the average time most companies take anywhere between 44 and 60 days that's right think about the time lag between where the candidate is available so there is no way you could actually hire the top candidate if you're going to take that much of time it has to match with what the candidate expects 
So the very, very first book that landed on my doorstep on 1st of January this year was this one, Outbound Hiring, written by Vijay Sharma, Kaushik Satish, and Adil Bandukwala. And it talks about how outbound hiring can be very different from the traditional hiring because of three or four reasons. One is it is data driven, uh, it's personalized, and it constantly you are able to show the impact to the business. Uh, and it is really keeping the candidate at the center, pretty much linked to what I just spoke about, the candidate experience. So this was a book that I really enjoyed reading. The book that I've just started reading is called The Middle Muddle by Bimal Rath, another one of our industry stalwarts and human resources. He's written this book, which is really aimed at uh, the middle manager just started reading it. It landed uh, with me yesterday. So expect to see a review of this the next time and more of that later. But now I want to talk to you about the most fabulous experience that I had uh, when I visited the World Sacred Spirit Festival in Jodhpur. I got a chance to soak in all kinds of music, especially, uh, you know, some of the Sufi singers like Kavita Seth and the Kavali singer Danish Hussain Badawni really caught my attention. I got a chance to hang around with the Manganiyads, with many of the international performers, and I learned so much about the way they view the music, uh, even of people and musicians who they don't understand. The language is different, and yet there is such a tremendous camaraderie, a real spirit of diversity, because uh, you don't really need to know a lot about who you are working with, but as long as you work with them together in a spirit of respect and mutual admiration, I think everything else works out. I am sure that if we tried some of this in the workplace, it would work out to be really terrific. But in the meanwhile, before I go, may I make one small request that when you tweet about us or when you post this link on Instagram with your followers, uh, please don't forget to add the hashtag notice board, share it on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Twitter and everywhere and tell us what you thought of it. And more importantly, if there is news in your organization that you think we should carry, please do let us know. The address is mentioned right here. So check it out and look forward to seeing you in the sixth episode where I'm going to talk to you about what to do to improve the impact of middle managers. So don't miss that episode. Till the next time, goodbye.